Hi everybody, just paranormal vlog here. My witchy name is Teal Raven. Uh, Timber Wolf, okay? Or Timber Wolf, Teal Raven, it depends. I've, I mix it up all the time. I just want to show you a bit about my altar, guys, right? This is my prayer candle. That if I'm trying to help anybody that's not that's no well, maybe struggling in life, what I'll do is I'll put a candle in it, a tea light usually. I'll anoint it with some herbs. I'll anoint it with some herbs, eh, some oils, and I'll ask my... Wait, did I shut this dog up? Hey dogs, you know what, gain them attention, they're not happy. Yes, yeah, so I put some herbs on the, usually a typical tea light, do you see it? I put a wee drop of oil on it, we wee drop of herbs ground up, eh, just scattered along the top. Sometimes I put an inscription in it to the person's name, their date of birth. Just asking my prayer candle to help, basically. I know I say a lot of the words that I use, but basically to help. Uh, this is my this is my cauldron. It's just we took it this incense the road. I wanted to tell you the smell. <laughs> this is my wee. Um, I've actually got my. We took go get it. I'll take you with me, right? This is that is actually where I keep my. Candle snuffer is one of my wee cauldron that Freer's cauldron goes. I know it's used for a crystal typically, but I like to keep my candle snuffer in it. So, and this is the oils that I use the most. I'm not going to go through them oil, but that's the oils that I use the most. So, I keep them there all the time. I've got my special Santa Marta oil at the back. That's to make sure that anybody that does anything wrong to me gets the justice that they deserve. Um, and that any past loved ones that they die um, go to the path that we're supposed to go. Because Santa Marta, guys, is a Mexican deity. It's a long story and I will do a video about it. And if you show your love in this life, a couple of wee offers or whatever, simplest of things, um, she guarantees that you, your loved ones, will get to be where they should be on the other side. She's a very mistaken identity. Uh, deity, sorry, and I will, I will explain a video right about her. Uh, so anyway, and she promises to give you the world. I've actually got a jar here that's got Liam's. At, see the court jar here. That's got Liam's baby. That's got Liam's baby teeth in it. A couple of crystals. Uh, a wee scroll that I wrote to him, and to. Uh, Archangel Michael for you always try and keep him on a better path. It's got herbs, it's got oils, it's got crystals, loads of things in it guys. And he's also sitting on the world just to let him see that the world is his. And I did have a picture of him on there and a clear quartz, like there a clear quartz here. And that's just to show oh 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 oh, oh. I'm wrecking the place. And that's just to make sure that nothing interferes with it. I've got our wee Maggie's doll here that I promised her I would give her. And I also gave her a wee minion. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, it's funny, but it's here. <laughs> that's just a wee um, shoe that I go to a charity shop and I thought it would be perfect for my altar, for my ancestors. So, Maggie's next to the um, the shoe that I got with the green, orange calisite I put in it, and I gave Maggie a wee soap lamb. So she's got a wee soap lamb now, and she's got a wee minion, just as her friend. I've got my cauldron sitting, this is just in case I need to do anything, like burn paper, or maybe burn some incense, that I've got the charcoal dish in it, I light it, put whatever I need in it. Sometimes I put that back on, and sometimes I don't. Uh, so that's typically for some incense, even some oil and incense mixed together, whatever you're trying to do. Or even if you've burnt like a, an, offer, an offering or your word drawn it a bit of paper, that's where you typically burn it, guys. I've got a coffin here, and I'm not going to show you the inside it, guys, because it's got a lot of personal stuff in it. It's got for the people that died in their family and were friends and things so it's got a lot of letters in it that we regret and the friendships and uh, 
things that we forgave them for things so I'm not going to open that that's very personal uh, so I've got a billion of gold here um, just to power the spirits in the afterlife that need money to help their loved ones that may be in trouble they'll find a way of getting money to them uh, for the other side so everything helps it's all to do with family support help each other to help um, the spirits help us in spirit just to get a better life find the things we want in life ask for our altars, our deities, our herbs, our oils to work together with our spirit guides to bring the things that we need to put the message in our heads to get these things and help us live a path of honesty, truth and hopefully confidence because that's what I'm building on now is my confidence in order to get out and achieve these things guys but it's all learning curve nobody's path is correct and nobody's path is wrong I've got pine cones here as well folks that's for the spirits and the elementals and things but there's a few things coming up in my channel guys that I'm going to start sharing a lot with and I've got my Himalayan salt for protection that I'm going to start sharing a lot with you as we right uh, some of the things I might do the video but you'll not hear me speak but you'll still see everything like this is my daughter in Billy that's my son-in-law that died and that's my daughter to the left uh, Kerry brought me up a, he always loved monster drinks so Kerry, oh you can't see that right Kerry brought me up a monster drink for him so that's been there about 6 months um, I actually meant to crack it open at Christmas for him in New Year and I forgot and we've just got a wee oh, this, my skeleton's fell on a wee frog that sits on a stone that Zach, that's their son, he's six now, he found the stone and wanted to give it to his daddy so it sits there and a frog and a skeleton that he thought was funny at Halloween so he kept, carried them about, about with him all day in Halloween so he let, and then he ended up leaving them here and I just I quickly thought gave them to Billy because he was near there that day obviously that's my cousin Stephen that I do feel is one of my spirit guides. I don't feel he's a full time spirit guide, but I feel he's going to be there a lot. I can hear him talking to me a lot more. This is Wally's Auntie Rose, a eh, cousin Rose, sorry. I hear her come through quite a lot, and um, I'm building up a really good bond with her. So, hope he's liked everything, guys. And remember, if there's anything you want to ask, just ask. Patchouli, crystals, tarot anything really so thank yous for spending time with me blessed be catches in the next one